on the uh, Sideshow Collectibles Premium Format Robocop. And um, this is just an amazing piece, like all, all other. It's just absolutely amazing. Um, uh, I suppose it gets the review. Start from the base. It's got the Detroit Police logo, like in the movie. It's got Detroit Police and OCP, like in the film. I would have preferred like a street base, but I think it works really well. This, even though it doesn't. Um, sorry, it does come with interchangeable hands, the gun hand and that one. It comes with two open hands, but I think I've lost them somewhere. They'll turn up somewhere, but I've, I'm sorry, I've got them with you. They just switch out anyway. Um, I suppose we should review now. <laughs> Sorry, right. So you get to the main body, and he's got um, he's got his chest coat, um, which is really nice detail. It's got a nice, like robot line said in the video, a satin finish, which it has, true to the film. Again, there's been complaints about the statue. Um, apparently the chest is too big and not proportioned, and the helmet is too big for big. You know, when you get it, you don't see it at all. I think it looks just like it did in the movie. It's just amazing detail on the face as well. Just a fantastic piece. I recommend getting it. I don't think they're quite, quite easy to find nowadays. Um, I'm not sure if you can get it outside, so you may still be able to. Um, I'll put it in the thin hand, but yeah, they, that's removable. And as well, a lot of people complain that you move them. Personally, I way prefer the posability of the statue. It needs it. I just think it does completely. If you didn't have posability, I wouldn't like it as much. Um, it's, it's the heaviest piece I have. It's extremely. It's quite heavy. It's about. <coughs> give you a 360. As you can hear, it's creaking on the table, so it's very heavy. Right up in there. So yeah, there he is. Oh yeah, there's another thing I will show you about this piece. As you probably know, and you've heard a lot, seen in other videos. Is um shoulder, you no know, leg holster opens up and the garage, gun carriage just slides out. I'm not going to slide it out, can't be asked to take it all out, but you yeah. Oh no, I think it's chipped a wee bit from take it out. So you have to be careful doing that. I suppose there's no complaints about this guy at all. It's amazing. I have no, I don't think there's any flaws with it. Um, thanks for watching guys and hopefully I'll get some more reviews up. This is all my collection at the moment, so hopefully doing my job at the moment on Saturdays can be able to raise a bit more money to get some more collectibles as well as get Christmas presents and um hopefully I wanna get the parallel of the diorama at the moment. I've got three hundred quid at the job um I've been saving up for this collection for three years now. So just keep working at that Saturday job and I'll be able to get a bit more clad. <laughs> but I will not be having them like everyone else, like, monthly, because I, I can get one of these every month. Uh, thanks very much, guys, and thanks for watching. Bye.